Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today, let us talk about the story of Miraj. The story is all about the ascension of Prophet Muhammad to heaven. Basically, it is known as Al Isra Wal Miraj, which is a combination of two separate events. One is earthly journey from Mecca to Jerusalem, and the other one is about the ascension to heavens. Today, let us concentrate on the second part, which is an enactment of the past events happened during the origin of the universe. This story is briefly mentioned in Surah number 17, Al Isra, where it is mentioned that Allah took Prophet Muhammad by night from Masjid al Haram to Masjid al Aqsa to show his signs. More details are mentioned in hadiths narrated by several companions of Prophet Muhammad. According to hadith reports, Angel Gabriel took the Prophet Muhammad from Mecca to Jerusalem and then to heaven on a burakh. Burakh means light, which is derived from the Arabic words barakh, which means lightning or bright. Indeed, the story is all about light and it explains the electromagnetic spectrum in detail. According to hadiths, burakh is a white animal having wings bigger than a donkey and smaller than a horse. It is a symbolic representation of white light. If we see the picture of the electromagnetic spectrum, we can notice that the white light is winged by gamma rays, X-rays and UV rays having short wavelength on one side and IR rays, microwaves and radio waves having long wavelengths on the other side. This is the reason why it is mentioned that Burakh is bigger than a donkey and smaller than a horse. Also, the short waves are having higher frequency and the long waves are having lower frequency where frequency is a measure of number of waves passing per unit time which can be comparable to the strides of these animals. Obviously, the number of strides of a donkey in a unit time is more than the number of strides of a horse in a unit time. Also, the stride length of horse is longer than the stride length of donkey which can be comparable to the wavelengths of bands occurring on either sides of visible light. The speed of light is compared with Burak's stride where it is mentioned that its strides were falling as far as its vision goes. The light spectrum is having electrical field as well as magnetic field. This is the reason why Prophet Muhammad and Angel Gabriel traveled together and ascended to heaven. On their journey, they visited the seven heavens where different prophets were residing in them. On a smaller scale, this story is about the seven bands of visible spectra. Here, the Prophet Muhammad represents the visible light and the seven bands of the white light are symbolically represented by the seven heavens. On their journey, Gabriel and the Prophet Muhammad first visited the first heaven where the Prophet Adam was stationed. It was told to Muhammad that he is your father Adam, indicating he is the beginning of the human race. This suggests that Adam is the beginning and represents the gamma race, but here he represents the IR race at one micron mark of the spectrum and from where it spreads on both sides. On the second heaven, they met Jesus and Yahya. It is mentioned in a Hadith Tirmidhi, volume number 5, chapter 17, number 3130, that the Jesus face is red in color. This suggests that Jesus represents red band and Yahya represents the orange band as we all know he is the cousin of Jesus. It is also mentioned that Jesus had long curly hair representing the long wavelength where the curls indicate the light waves and long hair means long wavelengths. Next, they met the Prophet Yusuf, Idris, Harun, Musa and Abraham. Yusuf represents yellow band, Idris represents green band, Harun represents blue band, Musa represents indigo, Abraham represents violet band of the visible spectrum. On a larger extent, the seven heavens represent the seven regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. The seven regions are gamma rays, X-rays, UV rays, infrared rays, radar waves, microwaves and radio waves represented by Adam, Jesus and Yahya, Yusuf, Idris, Harun, Musa and Abraham respectively. 
Here, the Prophet Muhammad represents the visible spectral range. The reason for mentioning Jesus and Yahya on one heaven is related to the incidence of two types of X-rays where Jesus represents the soft X-rays and Yahya represents the hard X-rays. The radar waves occur within the range of microwaves and hence they are compared with Harun and Musa as they are brothers and Harun lived under the shadow of his elder brother Musa. It is mentioned in Hadith in Muslim volume 1 chapter 74 Hadith number 263 that on seeing left and right the Prophet Adam was weeping and laughing by looking at his half springs so who are sitting on his left and right. On an inquiry, Gabriel said that by seeing the people on his left, he weeps because they are the dwellers of the hell and by seeing on his right, he laughs as they are the dwellers of the heaven. This is an indication to suggest that the half of the electromagnetic waves having the longer wavelengths will be trapped on the earth as they are reflected back from the atmosphere to the earth due to the greenhouse effect where the other half of the electromagnetic waves having the shorter wavelengths will be transmitted to the earth's atmosphere suggesting they will reach the heavens. This confirms that Adam represents the IR rays and the starting point is marked at 1 micron as mentioned earlier in the previous occasion. One more reason for this act is half of the IR rays known as reflected infrared rays of incoming solar radiation will reach the earth's surface whereas the other half of the IR rays known as thermal infrared rays will be absorbed by the earth's atmosphere on their journey towards the earth. This is more relevant to this section of the discussion and this is the reason why it is mentioned that Adam was laughing and weeping by seeing his half springs. In a hadith it is mentioned that on one occasion the Prophet Muhammad said that he resembles the Prophet Abraham the most among all prophets. The reason for this comparison is like the visible spectra, the radio wave spectra also reaches the earth's surface. Then the Prophet Muhammad was shown the Siddhartal Muntaha. Here the solar flares are mentioned as Siddhartal Muntaha. At the roots of the Siddhartal Muntaha, Prophet Muhammad saw four rivers and it was told to him that out of those four, two flow in the heaven and the other two flows to the earth representing the other bands of the EM spectrum, especially so short waves and long wave bands. The two which flow in the heaven are short waves which escape from the earth are not in abundance on the earth are X-rays and UV rays which will be reflected back from the earth's atmosphere. The remaining two represent the long wave bands of IR and radio wave bands which are circulated within the earth's atmosphere are reflected back into the earth's atmosphere from the greenhouse gases. These two are compared with the Nile and Euphrates river as they are one of the longest rivers in the world and western Asia respectively. As additional information we can check their sinusity of the path where the Euphrates is having more sinusoidal path than the Nile representing the IR waves and radio waves respectively. Near the Siddhatul Muntaha, Prophet Muhammad was offered two types of drinks. Few scholars mention it as three types of drinks that is alcohol, milk and honey representing the UV, visible and IR bands of the EM spectrum respectively. As the color of alcohol or spirit is bluish, milk is white and honey is more or less towards the red color. The Prophet Muhammad chose the milk representing the visible spectra which is the visible range of human eye and other animals and beneficent to majority of the earth dwelling creatures as the Prophet Muhammad also represents the earth. Later at Siddhat al-Muntaha, Muhammad was enjoined with 50 prayers per day and on his descent when Muhammad met Musa, Musa advises Muhammad to return to Allah and pray for a reduction in the number of prayers. After several recurring journeys on the advice of Musa, finally he was enjoined with 5 prayers, each equaling to 10 prayers, totaling to 50 prayers. 
and the timing of these five prayers are also fixed by the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran which are also mentioned in hadiths. The first prayer is the morning prayer that is fixed just before the sunrise. Second prayer just after the midday, third prayer at the evening and the fourth just after the sunset and the fifth before the total dark. This fixation of timing is based on the visible spectral range of the electromagnetic spectrum. It represents the perception range of the white light by a human eye. A normal human eye can perceive the color vision from 0.38 micron to 0.75 micron which can be extended up to 0.77 microns. According to recent scientific studies, young adults are able to detect and isolate UV peaks at 310 nanometers and the cornea transmit radiant energy above 295 nanometers. Therefore, it is considered that a normal adult human eye can sense that white light from 0.31 micron to 0.77 microns. This includes a small portion of UV rays and IR rays within the range of 0.3 micron to 0.8 microns. Scientific studies have shown that a normal adult can perceive the light from 0.395 micron to 0.72 micron without any trouble. But the color dispersion spectrum is generally considered between 0.4 micron and 0.7 microns. If we observe all these details carefully, it matches the prayer timing exactly. The morning prayer is fixed just before the sunrise because the human eye can start recognizing the light from 0.395 micron rep representing the blue band. The next prayer is fixed just after the midday related to the green band and the third prayer is fixed at the afternoon to represent the yellow band. Among the last two, one just immediately after the sunset representing the red band and the last one before the nightfall which falls in the IR band range where the human eye is not sensitive for light beyond 0.77 micron and it becomes dark on retina. With all this information, if we consider the spectrum between 0.3 micron and 0.8 microns, it can be divided into 5 divisions, each one with a 10 subdivisions equaling to 50 divisions. The 5 divisions are from 0.3 to 0.4 microns, 0.4 to 0.5 micron, 0.5 to 0.6 micron, 0.6 to 0.7 micron and 0.7 to 0.8 microns. This is the reason why the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that I have confirmed 5 prayers with each equaling to 10 and totaling to 50 prayers of the day. This is the scientific story of 5 prayers a day and the 5 bands of the visible spectra in particular and the entire electromagnetic spectrum in general. As far as possible, we have to pray all the five prayers at their fixed timing as they represent different bands of the electromagnetic spectrum. But in case of adverse weather conditions, two prayers can be merged as shown by the Prophet Muhammad. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar!